<laughs> I'm surprised that you know all of your children, Bress. I'm glad to hear it, though. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to make a video like that again anytime soon, I don't think. But it was really interesting to try something different. Whew. So Brax is looking okay. I wouldn't mind getting like one more soldier, or two more soldiers for this campaign. I feel like I should be spending the supply on something, but I don't know why. would have been proud of what we're doing here. For the first time in a long time, we're actually a threat to the aliens, and they know it. Now we just have to make all those people in the colonies remember what we're fighting for. My father didn't die so we could become a race a of powerless tech does. subjects for the aliens to toy with. We just have to get the people's attention. Yugla. How long was I sitting on that video idea? The original, the original like seedling for that video idea is a really awesome. XCOM 2 explained using only the 1,000 most common words in the English language most video. Of new recruits have never worked in close quarters like the Avenger. That somebody make and I absolutely love. If you Google it, you'll find it. Um, but I, I didn't. It took a while to work out what an angle that would make sense to apply it to like the Beagle series would be. And I eventually decided to like move away from the only using the 1,000 most common words or whatever, and just aim it at children instead. Am I streaming from the bottom of my pool? No? <laughs> I don't think so. I was gonna go with Commander Quick Dog, but Caitlin pointed out that children would actually use the word Captain. So we went with that instead. Stasis Vest. Increased soldier health by two, provides two hit point regeneration bonus every turn. I don't think this does anything. However. Okay, so we have 20 hit points on Jake here. No personal combat sims. I'm still holding off on equipping these heavy cannons with anything exciting. Everybody's got a plasma pistol, right? Should be fine. Let's actually go med kit. No, no, no. Whoa. Hold on. Go med kit here. In stasis vest on a Nani Namja. Get him a little bit more HP. Can we go like double vest? Alright. This is a retaliation. Having a hunter will help. She's gonna start in stealth. Difficult. Get damage in. Was wasn't it, Kinex? <laughs> I. Sweeping the whole area, taking out anyone they can find. We're moving in to put a stop to it and protect as many people as we can. Secure the site and neutralize all hostile contacts. Man, I hope that we have actual frames and tactical this time around. That would be really nice.
Focus 1-5. Hostile forces are attacking the outpost. Eliminate all enemy units and protect those civilians. Advent came in hot, and so did we. You won't have a concealed position for deployment on this one. Nope. Not really? Uh, I'm gonna... This is really bugging me. I'm gonna try to turn off mods and try to work out what's actually causing me to have no frames in tactical and the geoscape. There's just gotta be some mod conflict somewhere. You don't need frames because the human eye can only see 10 frames per second. Well, I have wizard eyes and I get a headache when I can only see 10 frames per second. I'm too old for this shit. So I'm going to try to get myself some frames and you guys can, uh, can just not get any benefit from it, I guess. What sort of things could screw it up? Show more buff details? I don't really need that. Quick reload, instant loot, gotcha again. Gotcha again could definitely be doing it, but I um, have had gotcha again turned on and it's been running fine at some point. I'm going to turn off. Stop wasting my time. I have stopped wasting my time and Robo Jumper speed ups at the same time, and there would be those like conflict. All right. I'm glad you enjoyed it, you know. It was a it was a very different video, so I absolutely understand some people not liking it. And it was also like very raw because it's not a style that I'm used to making. So I think like if I ever did something like that again, I'll know a lot more about the challenges that go into making that sort of video and be able to do a better job of it. It was a it was a really fun thing to do, and I'm really glad I did it. And some of the jokes were really funny. When I was like retweaking the audio levels and stuff, I watched it a couple of times through and I could not stop myself from cracking up every time we had the uh, the sectoid pod with like the sectoid Place holding the balloon. Looks like hostiles over here. This just doesn't work. There just aren't any frames. You're clear! Move out. And I say like they're so adorable. Let's go give them a hug or whatever. And then they all die in the next five seconds. <laughs> Ten minutes about the norm. It is, yeah. I'm gonna clean my configs. What else could I turn off? This doesn't seem like there should be anything that's really eating. Much of anything. In the tactical layer with what I have installed right now. All right. So to clean your configs in case you're ever wondering and having trouble with like mods not working how you expect or something, you just go to my games slash XCOM 2 slash XCOM game slash config and just delete everything in the folder. I think you can actually delete the entire folder if you want. And it always feels like a terrible idea every time I do it. Like, <laughs> how could my game possibly need any of these files, right? But the files are generated when you launch the game anyway. So they just regenerate the next time you launch it and hopefully don't have any crap in them anymore. I'm going to turn off no drop-down lists because, like, maybe that does something. I wonder if it's something like it's just a scratch or no rank up throttling. That wouldn't really make any sense. I'm gonna try turning off Robo Jumper's various speed ups just in case. Upcoming events and hours has had weird interactions with me before, so I'm gonna turn that off. 
All right. Delete XCAM 2 and load open XCAM. I'm really looking forward to open XCAM tomorrow. Really, really looking forward to it. Thursdays are my favorite days of the week, I think. Sundays are pretty good. Thursdays are really good, though. Uh, let's, whoa, 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 what is going on there? Wait, what? Did my bot break? What on earth just happened? What an amazing shot! Is E3 still going? That's sort of like a... Uh, that's a Twitch fucking up sort of thing. Alright, can we actually like play the game now? Maybe? I'm gonna turn off Bloom. Bloom messes things up sometimes. I think anti-aliasing. There's like some setting that's better for anti-aliasing. Whatever. I'll do that. Ambient occlusion. No more ambient occlusion, whatever that is. What is my superhero name? I guess it's Wizard Steve. It's not the one I would have chosen, but it's, it's the one I was given. Uh, why did it say you followed? Probably because you were the last follower. And when my bot starts up, it um, plays the last follower notification. It's nothing to do with anything that you've done recently. Oh my god, it's working. Oh, that's so smooth. Oh. I wonder what it was. Are you shitting me? Alright, great start to the day. Did I remember to disable suppression shaking? I did not. I wonder if that was just regenerating the configs. I don't know. Mods just confuse me. Going in for the kill. Ooh, I miss. Come to confuses me as well, Ripa Jumper. A great deal. Hunt him down. Roger that. I believe these soldiers have implacable. <laughs> what a fucking terrible decision. Anyway. I'm 
wonder how many billion damage I'm gonna take between turns. Crit. Um, I think the charge shot has so much higher chance of missing that we don't risk it. Nice crit there as well. I guess this is an option. Suppression is an option. Demolition is technically an option, but doesn't seem like what we want to do. Whatever you say. I think we go here, use our pistol shot to kill the guy on four, hopefully. Kill. Now I'm thinking we actually do that? use demolition on this tree, maybe. Because a rapid fire. Okay, fuck. How does implacable work? Can I? Can I move? I can move pistol shoot, activate implacable. Activate running gun. Does the move take my implacable action? I'm going. This is what I'm wondering. Yes. Okay, cool. So from here I should be able to run and gun, shoot pistol, rapid fire, which should be enough to kill this guy. So veteran scout and master sergeant. I think it's probably just better to kill the veteran scout because he's got a shotgun and pretty sure he likes flanking me. I believe I can go running gun. For you. No, I'm an idiot. Fuck. <laughs> Demolition's turn ending. I was thinking I could demolition and kill them, but no, I just turned off my own running gun. Uh, let's go the veteran scout. It doesn't seem like what running gun did in vanilla. So the reason that I'm doing this is that my pistol shots aren't turn ending and running gun just gives you an extra action. So I'm hitting running gun and then I'm using that extra action to take a pistol shot. Running gun can be used on anything except the moving. You can't move with your running gun action, but you can shoot with it. So it's fine to hit running gun. Um, hit running gun, like shoot with that running gun action and then continue your turn. Become gun and gun. Yeah, basically. I mean, it's always actually been gun and gun. Literally, what the ability does is give you an action that you can use on something other than moving. So, <laughs> I mean, most of the time that you don't move, you actually probably get spent doing something with your gun. Untouchable just saved me wound time. Oh, and I get to shoot him. Drone just got blown out pretty hard. Right. So you guys didn't actually move? Confused. I'm just generally confused by this game. 
This will pull that pod, but it's not saying that I'm pulling a pod with Gachi again. So I'm confused again, I guess. Are they pulled? I don't think they're pulled. This is too much for me at the moment. Let's go. We can't really do a ton right now with all of our pistol attacks on cooldown. I'm just gonna kill that and mostly set up overwatches. Wait, what the fuck? Moving to Overwatch. <laughs> On Overwatch. <laughs> okay, so my soldier can see that pod. I think that's a line of sight asymmetry, because he's like leaning out, but he's leaning out onto elevation that he can't actually stand on. Maybe. I mean, I don't know. We'll we'll find out what happens. I'm being attacked. How did that guy just take an overwatch? Did he overwatch? <laughs> what is this game? Where am I? All right. Drones are shooting at me. That looks like a good shot. You beast. Game lacks more pew pew. How many how many pew pew do you need, Blazar? <laughs> I'm glad that you enjoyed that beast. Long Gildong. If 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 desire, if desire. that perhaps people should sleep more than this every night. All right, let's shoot that. I think my voice sounds like better at 150% speed. I don't know. There are a huge number of people who I watch YouTube videos of and I always put it at 150% speed and then I like create a connection to them at that speed. And then if I ever hear them talking normally, it's just weird. I sound vaguely drunk at 100. Yeah, I actually, I know exactly what you're talking about. There's sort of a, a slowness to the way that somebody talks normally after you have heard them talk at 150% speed. Maybe I should just boost my audio by 50%, my audio hey, speed by 50% and all of my YouTube videos and stuff have that be my brand.
We did have Agbamo show in an earlier Beagle review. So there was a callback going on there. You get to shoot back when I demolition, huh? It's rude. Just talk really, really, really fast. I mean, some people legitimately do that. Hardly, hardly the most avant-garde suggestion I've ever heard. Did I really walk around in that outfit? Yeah. No, it was actually amazing because like the zoo is predominantly young children and they were all really excited to see a wizard. Like it was, <laughs> it was a really enjoyable day. A little bit exhausting after like the 50th time that a little kid got excited about seeing a wizard, it was like starting to become a little bit eye rolly, but in general, pretty good time. I think my voice would actually die, Smurf. I think my voice would actually die. I would have put like clips of kids getting really excited that they were seeing a wizard, but it seemed like probably illegal, so I didn't. I I thought about asking some parents if they'd be okay with it. I'm glad to see the resistance has their new recruits training. They need to be prepared for the next. Caitlin and I. Yeah, like we went to the zoo together and we were actually enjoying spending some time at the zoo. Maybe a flesh wound? I'm having a lot of trouble shooting this drone with Pro Axel. Maybe she can bring it down. Get a bit lucky on coin flips. And we did. It's Overwatch. There should be more drones. I've turned off tactical kill counter. So we don't know exactly how many enemies are there. Although it was lying to us half the time anyway, so we still wouldn't really know. Not illegal if you ask permission. Yeah. It just... Eh. It felt weird. I was happy with what we ended up with. Moving to designated coordinates. Got something good here. Advanced agility. I don't actually know what advanced agility does in this game. I guess it just increases your chance to dodge and no attack. It's like exactly the same thing as in Long War 2. No problem, boss. Probably, yeah. I think the AI might have broken. Didn't shoot any civilians between turns. In fact, it's only shot one What's the entire there? mission. And I'm pretty sure there are drones active, but I don't know what they're doing. Good to go. On Overwatch. Let's do this. She prête. Reloaded. Oh, fuck. This might be bad. I don't have enough overwatches to kill this. It's gonna get to attack me. <laughs> Why not, Kindle? I don't see what's wrong with that at all. In fact, some of the staff were excited to see a wizard. <laughs> Missed the target. 
<laughs> so Faceless don't understand that they have cone attacks. So like they'll have these situations where they could get just extremely amazing cone attacks off on you and just go do that instead pretty regularly. Um, so that's a lot better than it could have been and the Faceless isn't dealing a lot of damage. So we're fine. Shredded and armor, not a big deal. Good. Glad I did that. Might just go with a hunker here. Demolition deals a decent amount of damage on this cover, but doesn't actually uncover the enemies. I'm just going to go for it. What? Moving to fire position. I was more interested in downgrading their cover to light, which we actually did succeed at. So I have steady hands. I'm really surprised that's only a 51. How does that math add up? 102. Game thinks he's in high cover. Oh, he is in high cover. Touche. <laughs> Touche, game. Touche. Florian could shoot him, though. There's a guy there. Okay. Supercut of all of the parts of Jonah's videos where I have no control of the game. You just see me, like, spinning the camera around an awful lot and complaining. I mean, some people might go for that, I guess. Not too shabby. Alright. Don't die. Ninety four is pretty good there. On the other hand, it's only a medic. I don't think the medic will attack me. I'm not too worried about having enough damage to burn through. So I'd rather kill people who actually have guns that they'll shoot. You know that was good. I feel like they must know. I think the people who work on this game are, like, quite intelligent. I really feel like they know. <laughs> um, market forces are perhaps not where they need to be, so probably what you'd want to do is demonstrate to the people paying for the game that the way that the animations are done is really irritating. And then look for those people to pressure the developers to speed them up somehow. 
There's a guy who's gonna work on a a build of XCOM 2 for speedrunning. A while ago. Don't know what came of that. Wait. Yeah, okay. I'm all over it. Yeah, Jay Darkman. Leave rapid fire is good here. Ooh. 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 My greatest regret from that video, I got decent footage of an owl, but it wasn't quite good enough for me to crop it appropriately and stuff. But when I said the last group of humans that Beagle hadn't brought under his wing yet. I was really close to having a workable shot of an owl turning its head toward the camera and then like putting Beagle's face on it and having him make owl noises. I was so close. I just didn't quite get good enough footage and like I wasn't going to go back for more. Anyway, that was that was the worst thing that happened to me this week. another guy right here and like he's just I don't <laughs> I don't know if he just doesn't actually exist and I'm imagining him or what but I'm pretty sure that he's right there now that was a turn oh no I killed him I can see his body fair enough Not sure how the corpse wasn't a giveaway there. Hey, Larithes. is just barely stopping me from being able to demolish his cover. Seems like he's overwatching in very odd ways. Hey, there it was. Affirmative, moving out. Evazair? Take it. I was trying to decide if I liked uh, Eevee. What movie is Eevee in? Or is it like a sci fi show? Eevee. I know it's a Pokemon. I'm not thinking of the Pokemon though. Game seems to think there's more stuff. I'm ready. Affirmative. Covering now. Lock and roll. Moving to Overwatch. Is it the guy's sister in about time? It's a mummy. Meh. Watching a lot of Spectrum Green this week has given you a great appreciation for how good Long War 2 is. 
Um, I think there are a huge amount of quality of life and bug fixes in Long War 2 that really slide under the radar for people. I'm trusting you here. But at the same time, like, a lot of people don't care quite as much about that stuff. Position confirmed. Like, if you're just gonna play through the game once and you're, like, not gonna play on, like, the hardest difficulty in Iron Man and stuff, you're just gonna sort of play through, build your soldiers, enjoy the story, find out what happens, and have some good fights. You don't really need huge numbers of quality of life or bug improvements. And also with nothing to like compare it to. It's confirmed. hard to tell that they aren't there. Like if you go straight from playing vanilla a lot to playing Long War 2, then you'll probably notice that there are some Understood. bug Moving fixes out. and some improvements to some things. Moving out. But like a lot of people hadn't played vanilla for quite a while when they Whatever started in say. on long war 2 You're safe now. Go, go, go. the game runs a lot faster with long war 2 there's some code to improve how safe files work there's some code to uh optimize a variety of other things in long war 2 like there's there's an absurd amount of code at long war 2 really really absurd was a big project it is a big project orders confirmed moving out orders confirmed moving out no problem boss yeah the community highlander is pretty good as well it's a little bit awkward like the community Highlander and Long War 2 Highlander both help a lot with uh, some like optimization and bug fixing. Can I be running Spectrum Green on the community Highlander right now? That would probably be a good idea. I should probably do that. No, Spectrum Green is a Highlander, right? Yeah. Yeah. Confirmed. Moving out. Right, but you can like play vanilla on the community Highlander now, uh, I guess so. right? Okay. <laughs> right? <laughs> I've never done this. Anyway, there's a huge amount of bug fixing in the community Highlander Order's too. It's too bad that uh, Long War 2 was sort of like developed under NDA and very secretive and a lot of work got done while it was being put together. Spectrum isn't a Highlander. Hold on. I think this would probably make the game run a lot better and probably fix some of the bugs that we've been running into too. Spectrum Green is for those who want a vanilla plus experience while well, Long War 2 is Long War 2. Long War 2 is definitely its own thing. So if I just select... 
next to Community Highlander. Let's see if that crashes my game. Did I lose? No, I'm just messing around with mods, trying to improve performance a little bit, Pro Axel. Why doesn't the recommended mod list have Community Highlander in it if it can uh, run well together? Proceed at your own risk. Negative experience such as poor performance or instability. Oh no. Oh no, how could anyone play XCOM 2 with poor performance or instability? That... That... How, how could anyone survive such a thing? Back up my save. Oh my god. Oh, maybe it's not actually that much cleaner. It felt really clean for the first second. Out. Why are you just learning about the Highlander today? Um, I don't know. I could not tell you. I'm pretty sure this feels better. Can't see anything? Whoa, that's weird. There you go. Sorry about that. I guess uh when I Yeah, I don't know. Computers are just a fucking bizarre mystery. Who the fuck even made this shit? Anyway, so all the Highlander does is it changes... Robo-Jumper would be able to explain what the Highlander does better than me. It changes some of the functions that the game's using to actually do things to make them better and not as bad. If you say so. I like that it took me all of seconds before I found an invisible guy. Oh, it's because this is heavy cover. Moving on target location. Okay. Why your ranger can't skulljack when he's standing right next to an officer. There's some weird stuff with uh I'm for you. There's some weird stuff with elevation change for skulljacking sometimes. There's also some weird stuff with like, you're only allowed to do it once sort of things. I don't know though, in general. I've, uh, the only time that I've seen my skulljack not being allowed to do something, it's been because the guy I've been trying to use it on hasn't been a valid target despite me thinking that he would be either because like he wasn't exactly the right sort of enemy in a way that like wasn't intuitive to me at all or because he's like like you're allowed to do it for the quest but then after you've done the quest you're not allowed to skulljack the officer again until you get skull mining which also doesn't make any sense to me but this is this is what I have found and been confused by. Um. Uh, saying long war had to be developed without public input because of NDAs. Uh, what I was what I was trying to say is like, so the Highlander, as RoboJumper just explained, 
it replaces the XCOM game EPK, and that's that's like a very important part of the game. You can't have lots of different stuff replacing that. And so you can only run one XCOM game UPK. And most people just run the vanilla one, but the community put in a huge amount of work making a community Highlander, which improves the vanilla one uh, significantly. That's why I just, like, when I realized I could be using it, I shot my game down and turned it on immediately. Um, now, Long War 2 also replaces the XCOM game UPK. And because of that, when you're playing Long War 2, um, its XCOM game UPK was developed separately from the community UPK. And so you can't like use both of them together. So like some of the code has been written twice, once by the Long War 2 team and once by the community. And in other places, the uh, two Highlanders, like one of them might be better than the other or something. I don't know exactly how they all line up, but it's, I don't know. It makes me a little bit sad that there are the two different Highlanders. Your, Highland your Highlander is a superset of the Long War II Highlander now. Oh, that's awesome. Cool. <laughs> well, I will use your Highlander. Yeah, you can use the community Highlander with Long War II as well. It can be used to replace the Long War II Highlander with the other Long War II code. It's fairly easy to do, although I don't remember. There's like one line you comment out in and Long War II somewhere to let you use it. It's only a matter of time before we regain control of the Glen. Hey, Akila. Plus 20 dodge. An advanced hair trigger. I thought that a regular hair trigger was 10%. Excellent work, Commander. Your efforts continue to bolster the resistance movement across the globe. Hey, Commander. <laughs> oh, I bet you are a jumper. I creaking down by the aft lift yesterday. I just hope it's not metal fatigue. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Kila. What's your estimation on how long it will take you to uh, fix that up? I don't know if I have time to pick this up. I feel like I'm limited by scanning speed right now. And it seems largely irrelevant anyway. Increased region income, whatever. For the Arctic territories. Welcome to the real fight. Yeah? Or the real war. They just had to one up Bradford with their announcement. Long live the resistance. I guess welcome to the fight wouldn't have played quite as well, probably. Uh two hundred are you shitting me? Wait, Alien Cipher is plus one hundred and fifty I thought it was plus fifty. It's plus one hundred and fifty percent? It's plus one hundred and fifty. Holy shit! Oh, <laughs> um, I do have a lot of intel at the moment, and I can research more. I'm just gonna contact this for two hundred intel. Commander, Feel sort of dirty about it. I'd like to not die. Our to the Avatar Project. 
Attempting to establish local regional contact. Vegas modification. They have triangles and I'm gonna go with their Siamese twins. I think that's what that graphic is. I'm only like 50% confident there. But see, it's like there's the one hooded guy here and then he's co-joined, conjoined, conjoined with uh, another hooded guy who's looking slightly the other way. That's my read on this situation. That'd be a sick enemy. There haven't been enough two-headed giants use in games. It was like Incoming Warcraft. You, Commander. Patching it through to your quarters now. Warcraft did a two-headed giant and Warcraft 2 and then Magic the Gathering has a two-headed giant format and and Magic has two-headed giants in general. Does Heroes of the Storm have a two-headed giant? I think it does. Where like two players play the same champion or hero or whatever. It is unfortunate, Commander, that your recent efforts have proven to be so mediocre. Can you go fuck yourself? <laughs> Excuse me, part <laughs> pardon my language. Sorry to uh Mr. Kimball's third grade class which is watching today. Uh Prometheus development, show of force. I'm not going to reveal that for 75 intel. Got 257 supply to pick up. Let's finish contacting West Asia. <laughs> Excellent try, Smurf. Another good attempt. This coil could provide us with some additional power for the Avenger systems, but we'll need to add some shielding first to protect the crew. Oh. <sighs> Complete the alien encryption research. That'll have to happen after Illyrian disruptors, I guess. Continue to make progress on the Avatar it's starting to look frightening. We're going to slow them down. We'll need to move fast. I appreciate the new lab facilities, Commander. Facility upgraded. Okay, so I basically bought another couple of scientists there. Probably won't ever finish excavating the Avenger in this campaign. Coming through clear. New regional contact located. Commander, now that we've established contact with the local resistance, we've got the details we need to move on the aliens' facility. This is our chance to set back their work on the Avatar project. I'm gonna wait for Illyrium disruptors and my Skulljack. Bit of the supply drop. Yeah, Noblesse, how's it going? TLARTs, enjoy your evening. <laughs> I've made some huge upgrades to the stream quality. Uh, game sound actually working being one of them. Started, Commander. What can I do for you, Commander? I'm gonna grab skull mining. Interesting choice. I'll send word as soon as we're finished, Commander. So we can start getting a little bit more out of these missions we're going on. I mean, we seem to be beating the missions pretty comfortably. So just being able to get more out of them would be wonderful. Hey, what, Lettuce? How you doing? I want a radio relay in West Asia. 
probably go Eastern US. Oh, we have to go to New Brazil. We go Eastern US, radio relay there, Western Europe. It does seem like I should maybe not be contacting new regions for 200 intel. These facilities are everywhere. Very hard to get to. One, two, three. There's no way I can get to here and here without six jumps. It's a lot of jumps. Grab another resistance comms, I guess. Current power systems to the limit. We don't have any capacity to spare, which means we can't expand our facilities further. I get overlays for the webcam? Yeah, I can. Just have to decide what I want to do and do it. I asked Tony to think of cool ideas. If he, well, I don't know. Tony and I have a, a wonderful relationship where he just like makes me things and then I get to use them. And it's very, very cool. But I don't really like, order him to do things i like say hey it would be really cool if i had this thing and then like it just appears and then i have it and it's it's just like the coolest thing in the world so i didn't exactly ask tony to like work on overlays for my webcam i was just like now that i have a green screen if you had any like creative ideas for overlays for a webcam it would be really cool east asia I feel like it took a long time to fly that far. Protect the device. Counters show of force. Show of force is a little bit scary. Prometheus deployment or Intel. Very difficult. Destroy the alien relay. Counters hidden event. So, if I think that I'm winning tactical, this is the correct choice here. The dark event could be like a major breakthrough or something. I'm not sure it can be a minor breakthrough because they just countered one of those. The intel is more valuable than the other rewards in terms of getting me to facilities and golden path locations. On the other hand, this one's very difficult. And like Prometheus deployment and show of force are both pretty crap for me eating missions most likely also there's no hack reward on this recover item does have a hack reward protect the device does not I wonder what Prometheus soldiers do I, I really don't like this. So I'm choosing the hardest mission. Right before I get my pistols upgraded. And I'm knowingly letting through a show of force and Prometheus development. Is Lazarus bad? I don't have the intel. Also, it costs 75 right now. It's the thing. It's one of the things. 
I think I'm just gonna counter show force. Need supply doesn't seem like it does anything. Does an engineer do anything? Let chat decide. What do you guys think, chat? Where do we go? Stoops commented, I feel like watching this has sent me into some sort of trance like state. Maybe I'm in a coma. <laughs> Mephius is plasma guns with shred and dragon rounds. Yeah, but they're not like getting any shots off at me. For now. Is my internet out? That would be pretty bad for streaming. Is Reddit down? I streamed. Oh, okay. Thank you. It's good in New Mexico. Protect the device. Counters show of force. Hogbomo shows in New Mexico. Alright. One person in my chat has a strong opinion. That's enough for me. If you just have officers with return fire. Commander, we'll need to have one of our troops equip the skull Sounds too bad. Field if we're going to make any progress towards our current objective. I guess getting to use the skull jack on more missions is actually worth quite a lot of intel probably. I think we can plug in these auto loaders. Ooh. Okay, the one problem with this is it's a semi light late game protect the device. Protect the device is really easy at the start of the game and then much harder later on. 